The introduction of new tariffs could be the death of the construction industry as we know it. Yes, you heard that right. But you may be asking yourself how. Just imagine being halfway through a major construction project when suddenly the price of steel, lumber and concrete takes a sharp increase overnight, blowing budgets and leaving projects in a lurch. Tariffs are meant to protect local businesses, but they can also do the opposite in the case of the construction industry, having dramatic impacts on material and equipment costs, supply chain disruptions, availability and lower profits. While some people will find ways to adapt to, and even benefit from, the new system, the impact on businesses, the construction industry, and even owners and end users could be bigger than expected. So how exactly do these new tariffs impact construction and other industries connected to it? Well, this video covers five major implications and why every builder, developer, contractor, and home buyer should pay attention. One, increased material and equipment cost details. First up, let's talk about the increased material and equipment costs. The new tariffs have imposed a 25% tax on steel and aluminum imports from Canada and Mexico, and a 10% tax on products from China. This has led to a significant rise in the prices of these essential construction materials, which were typically outsourced for cost efficiency. For instance, the cost of steel beams, pipes, and aluminum siding has surged, making it more expensive for builders to source these materials. The impact doesn't stop at materials. The tariffs have also affected the prices of construction equipment, such as machinery and tools, which are often imported. The increased costs of these items constrain budgets and make it more challenging for construction companies to invest in new equipment. This can hinder productivity and efficiency on job sites, as companies may have to rely on older, less efficient machinery. According to the National Association of Home Builders, the new tariffs on Chinese goods alone are projected to raise the cost of imported construction materials by three to four billion dollars. This increase in costs can lead to higher project budgets and consequently, higher costs for clients and consumers. Due to the fixed price structure of many construction contracts, contractors cannot pass the additional cost to clients and will take the hit directly, which would reduce profit margins. However, if construction companies increase their pricing, customers may back out or delay projects, leading to fewer contracts. The companies bear the brunt of the risk and loss in this system. In short, the new tariffs are driving up the costs of both materials and equipment, putting additional financial pressure on the construction industry. Builders and developers will need to find ways to manage these increased expenses to keep their projects on track and within budget. Second, supply chain disruption. Next, let's look at the supply chain disruptions caused by the new tariffs and how this could cause uncertainty in decision making and inefficiencies for many in the industry. Construction companies often rely on long-term relationships with suppliers to ensure a steady flow of materials. However, with the sudden introduction of tariffs, these supply chains have been interrupted, leading to delays and shortages. These disruptions can slow down construction projects, extend timelines, and increase labor costs as workers wait for materials to arrive. For example, a delay in the delivery of steel beams can halt the progress of a building structure, causing a ripple effect that impacts the entire project timeline. According to a report by the Construction Industry Institute, supply chain disruptions can increase project costs by up to 20%. This is because delays often lead to additional expenses, such as extended equipment rentals and increased labor costs. Companies may be forced to find new suppliers, which can lead to inconsistency in material quality. The reliability of delivery schedules may decrease, which could mean missed deadlines. For example, if a construction firm is used to getting steel beams from a supplier at a fixed price and tariffs suddenly drive up that price, they may need to look for an alternative supplier with a lower price but longer shipping times, different material specifications, and less flexibility in bulk orders, all of which would have a negative impact on project outcomes. We also have an increased risk of project cancellations. For large-scale projects with tight budgets, supply chain disruptions can make costs unpredictable. This uncertainty may result in investors pulling out due to financial risks and construction companies opting to halt projects rather than operate at a loss. Government or private developers may postpone infrastructure projects until the market stabilizes. When the US imposed tariffs on Chinese steel, many construction companies had to scramble for alternative sources. Some firms turned to domestic steel, but US manufacturers couldn't immediately meet demand, and this led to severe delays and cost hikes we could have other similar situations shortly. The new tariffs are causing significant supply chain disruptions, leading to delays and increased costs for construction projects. 
Companies will need to develop strategies to mitigate these disruptions and keep their projects on schedule. Third, inflationary pressure. Moving on to inflationary pressures, the new tariffs are contributing to rising costs across the construction industry. When the prices of materials and equipment increase, it creates a ripple effect that drives up the overall cost of construction projects. According to the International Monetary Fund, global inflation is expected to moderate in 2025, but it will likely remain above pre-pandemic levels. This means that construction costs are expected to rise by 5-7% to due to supply chain challenges and increased material prices. Construction is a key driver of economic growth, and any inflationary pressure in this sector affects all other industries. The inflationary pressures are not just limited to materials and equipment. Labor costs are also on the rise, as workers demand higher wages to keep up with the increased cost of living. This adds another layer of financial strain on construction companies, making it even more challenging to manage project budgets. And it is not limited to just labor and companies. With increased costs of materials and labor, the final impact is more expensive real estate and infrastructure development. Now, home buyers and renters pay more as developers raise prices to cover rising construction expenses. Private developers may reduce investment due to the fear of low returns and high or excessive costs. Higher costs can slow down real estate development, which will result in a reduction in job opportunities and also discourage foreign investments in large infrastructure projects. In order to combat the pressure of inflation, both builders and developers will need to find ways to manage these rising costs to keep their projects financially viable. Fourth, impact on profit margins. Now, let's discuss the impact on profit margins. The increased costs of materials, equipment, and labor are squeezing profit margins for construction companies. This can limit their ability to invest in new projects, hire additional workers, or even just stay in business According to a report by the Construction Super Conference, the new tariffs are compressing profit margins and creating investment uncertainties. This can make it more challenging for construction companies to secure financing for new projects, as lenders may be hesitant to invest in an industry facing such financial pressures. The indirect impact on the workforce is also significant. When profit margins are squeezed, construction companies may be forced to cut back on hiring or reduce wages. This can lead to a decrease in workforce morale and productivity, further impacting the overall efficiency of construction projects. Construction firms, developers, and contractors will need to reassess pricing strategies, adjust budgets, and absorb unexpected expenses, which can threaten financial stability. Beyond material costs, tariffs cause disruptions that increase overall operational expenses. Supply chain delays lead to extended project timelines, which require longer payments for labor and equipment rentals. There is also the reality of higher fuel and transportation costs. Unfortunately, smaller firms are especially vulnerable and will feel the largest impact since they lack the financial sustainability to absorb rising costs. The new tariffs are having a significant impact on profit margins, which in turn affects the workforce and the overall financial health of construction companies. Builders and developers will need to find ways to manage these financial pressures to keep their businesses viable. This leads us to the last point of this video. 5. Changes in Project Planning and Contracts Lastly, let's look at the changes in project planning and contracts. The new tariffs are forcing construction companies to rethink their project planning and contract strategies. This includes incorporating price escalation clauses and contingency plans to account for the increased costs and potential delays caused by the tariffs. According to a report by the National Law Review, price escalation clauses are becoming more common in construction contracts to mitigate the inflationary effect of tariffs on construction materials, especially after the impact that COVID-19 had on the cost of building materials in 2020. These clauses allow for adjustments in contract prices based on changes in material costs, helping to protect both contractors and clients from unexpected price increases. Since tariffs create uncertainty, contract negotiations and agreements must adapt to new risks. Some of these are escalation clauses, flexible payment terms, and supply chain contingency plans. It's nice that these clauses are being discussed, but whether or not the terms and conditions can be agreed upon by both parties is another story. Disruptions in material supply chains force construction firms to revise their project timelines. When essential materials like steel or lumber are delayed, project completion dates are pushed back, leading to extended labor costs as workers remain on site longer than expected. Increased equipment rental fees for machinery that must be kept for an extended period. 
This can cause frustration among clients and stakeholders due to shifting deadlines. For example, a contractor expecting to receive steel beams within two months may have to wait four months due to import restrictions. This delay impacts every stage of the project from framing to finishing. In summary, the new tariffs are prompting changes in project planning and contracts as construction companies seek to protect themselves from the financial impacts of increased costs and supply chain disruptions. Builders and developers will need to stay proactive and adaptable to navigate these challenges successfully. With all these points said, it is obvious that tariffs have a profound impact on the construction industry as well as those adjacent to it. If you're in the construction industry, now is the time to rethink your sourcing strategies. Revisit your contracts and explore alternative suppliers to stay ahead. The future is uncertain, but one thing is for sure. Construction can't stop or else the world stops with it. Please drop your comment below and let's discuss the best ways to navigate these tariffs together. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more top 5 construction videos.